Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about XLM, what's been happening with the price action, what can we expect to happen next, and will XLM continue to rally up or will it just die off? So guys, if you don't, don't want to miss any of that important information, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below, and uh, let's crack on with the video. On a little side note, make sure you check us out at ptgr.ag if you want to get into greater consultancy packages with regard to cryptocurrencies, um, I strongly advise it. So guys, let's go straight into the video. What's been happening with XLM? Um, it's a bit of a free fall. I mean, we talked about this in last video of last week. Uh, XLM has been seeing drastic falls. Uh, from its all-time high. I mean, I remember making videos last year uh, talking about potentially reaching a dollar. Now we're at a fraction of that and hovering around the 10 cent zone. So it's really sad to see. I mean, um, if you look back here, you can see that we're hovering around the 60 cents. Since then, uh, we've been very unfortunate and the crypto market has just tanked like everything else due to i mean we know that inflation has played a role but also the money pin printing that played a role and so now we're hovering around the 10 cents um the good thing is that i believe xlm has great utility in the long term and we'll be able to go back to these um highs um if bitcoin were to submerge again because um bitcoin is under a lot of uh talks right now of a utility um, and will we be able to see these new highs um, were these highs back in the days for bitcoin at 60 uh, thousand 67 thousand were these artificial due to the money printing it's hard to tell i think bitcoin is here to stay and so um, in that case xlm with utility will be uh, showcased through that because it's still considered an altcoin um, but overall xlm in terms of price action has been doing not so bad. I mean, um, in the last uh, couple days, um, if you look, uh, for example, in the last day, um, what's been happening in the last day uh, is you've had um, a fall. Um, it, it, you cannot not neglect that. But the good thing is that um, you've got some resistance level. And I think that the 10 cent is really the, the resistance level. I mean, as you can see, we're always touching and hovering that but the resistance level is um, strong enough for us to remain above the 10 cents i mean as you can see as soon as we, the the bears are taking the upper hands and reaching that below 10 cents then the bulls are taking back the um the upper hand and making higher highs and lower lows uh so it's a good stand that we know that we have a resistance level um because it allows us to to to, to sort of know what what we can uh, uh, expect next in terms of for me the next uh, resistance level for xlm is 10 cents if we're able to actually uh, break through that uh, um, if the bears are able to break through that i think that the next uh, resistance level will be hovering around the 80 cents uh, but right now i think the 10 cents is is a good stand mark and i think uh, we'll be able to 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 fulfill and, and hold that um, now an important news that i wanted to talk about is that there is allegation that the Ripple co-founder Jet McCaleb abandons the Stellar Lumen after making billions from XRP sales. Again, I said allegations. It is not confirmed. Um, these are rumors. And um, but basically, what's been happening is that on Twitter uh, there is Leonidas, which talked about how Jet will be selling 4.2 um, million of XRP per day this week. And his 22.1 XRP stake will run out on Saturday, the 16th of July, 2022. It took Jet eight years, one month, and 25 days since annou announcing his sales. Sorry, since annou announcing his sales to get rid of his 9 billion XRP. So this is pretty astonishing to see um, how large his position has been and how long it has taken him to get out of it. And this is just to show that um cryptocurrency is not that liquid right because this um i mean jed is the definition of it he he took eight years to basically sell his stake of xrp position uh, another thing is that there's rumors that he uh, abandons the stellar lumens um project because he started working on ripple back in 2011 and was one of the founder when it launched in 2013 but later abandoned the project in 2014 to work for stellar lumen 
When departing the company, McCaleb was awarded about 9 billion XRP token for co-founding OpenCoin, which was later rebranded as Ripple. But Ben Armstrong um, actually made a Twitter announcement, and this is rumors again, which I think are false, because he said, screw Jed, my sources, um, my sources, sorry, is that XLM Stellar says that he has left the company and Jed did not sell any XRP from September to December 2021. But his source of XLM Stellar is, an, is a fake account. As you can see here, I mean, um, the, the account has zero following, has 351 follower. This is not the official account and they barely have, um, I mean, they, they have zero to none activity where they are doing like um, giveaways, but I mean, the Stellar Foundation does not do that. So, I mean, to see Ben Armstrong, such a big influencer in the crypto industry, release a news like that that's built on pretty much zero foundation is pretty worrying to me because it shows how easily influential um, the market can get, right? So I think that Ben Armstrong is just selling on fake news right now um, without hate to him. Um, but I don't think that uh, Jed has actually left the XLM uh, um, foundation and I think he will remain because it's in his best interest. Um, another thing is that the BitBo BitBoy founder threatens a class action lawsuit against Celsius. Uh, he So Ben Armstrong said that Celsius won't let him withdraw money from the platform without sending him more uh, to it first. So that's also quite worrying because you're seeing a lot of these exchange preventing people from selling their position and it shows the issue with cryptocurrencies right now because it shows that uh, people are basically not able to get out of their position and it shows how illiquid cryptocurrencies can be right in these hard times um, and just two weeks after appearing in ask me anything which she did in an ama with celsius founder alex mckinsey crypto uh, youtuber has announced that he intends to file a class action lawsuit against the lending platform and its chief executive i mean this is very big because uh bill boy uh, crypto which is ben armstrong has a big following he has 1.45 million so he has big influence in terms of what he will be able to do with that a class a class action um it will all depend uh, again with how celsius will will react to the situation um i mean it is worrying to see stuff like that but it's part of the game. This might affect actually XLM in a positive way um, because uh, it's just overall good news um, to see that uh, such a big influencer is actually making false news and that might affect his lawsuit because when you see that he's making false accusation uh, on Jed leaving the, the Stellar Foundation uh, and leaving the company, I think it, it reduces his legitimacy. So another news is that on a positive side, uh, when you look at Lightmint for the XLM, uh, you see that actually their sales volume has been going up, um, and that's good because in terms of um, in terms of NFT, it's been doing really good, and they don't have commissions. So these are also positive news, positive sentiments, um, because when we're in such a bear market and we're seeing that um, the actual the actual um, the, the the actual volumes are, are are up there it's positive sentiments another one that we're seeing is when you look at coinbase um i mean over one year you're down 55 percent on your position which is drastic but if you look at the the whole time over the trading activity you have a 91 percent buy uh, over a nine percent sell so this is an ov overall very good sentiment because it shows that you have this resistance at this 10 cent level which i talked about and I think it's here to stay. I think um, the bears um, are there. We are in a bear market. We cannot neglect it. But the bulls will keep the upper hand. Um, it, and the trading activity just shows it. That it's overall more of a buying signal than a sell one. Uh, finally, you have the Ledger Explorer Analytics platform. Uh, you can see that the, the XLM fee pool and all these um, accounts and the daily active account remains fairly high. So this is good because it shows that the utility is still there and um, it shows a positive sentiments for XLM because it's not a dying project and far from that, I think XLM has a lot of potential in the long term. 
um, it will just take time for it to showcase. Obviously, right now, people are not really looking into crypto uh, and people are just holding on to cash because they're scared of inflation. But in the long term, I feel that XLM, mark my word, um, has potential. It's not a dying project. You've got big people behind it, um, such as Jed, for example, who is the, the, the co-founder of XRP. And I think it's here to stay. Um, and we'll have to see how, how the market reacts to that. But if you guys don't want to miss any of that important news, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe your, uh, and, and comment your thought below. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe and check out ptgr.ag. And I'll see you in the next one.